perfect vegan waffles. Hey guys, what's up? My name is Britt and I'm the vegan food blogger behind the Banana Diaries where we make simple, easy vegan recipes that all eaters love, whether or not you're vegan and gluten-free too. So today we're gonna to be making one bowl, super quick and easy vegan waffles that honestly are as fluffy and delicious as regular waffles. These are so quick to make, we're gonna be using oat flour, but you can use all-purpose flour or gluten-free one-to-one baking flour. Just check the notes down below in the recipe card. And yeah, you're just gonna love them. Let's get started. Okay, so to start, we're just gonna go over quickly our ingredients. So we have oat flour measured out in the bowl. I'm using 333 grams or three cups of oat flour. Then we also have our vegan buttermilk, which is just dairy-free milk and some apple cider vinegar. You let that sit and then it starts to thicken much like a regular buttermilk. We have a little bit of vanilla extract. And then in here we have sugar, granulated sugar. I'm using organic granulated sugar because if you use organic granulated sugar, specifically Florida crystals is vegan. Not all granulated sugars in the US are vegan. I know that's kind of a bummer, but just make sure that you're using organic because that will ensure that it's vegan. Yeah, <laughs> vegan, okay. And then we also have our air root starch and that's gonna help our oat flour bind together. You can also swap in corn starch. And then we have baking powder. And then for our vegan egg replacement, we are using dairy-free yogurt today. You can also swap in applesauce or you can use ground flaxseed mixed with water. And I have all those measurements linked down below. So let's first start by whisking together our dry ingredients. Dump that into the bowl. And you can honestly just measure everything in one bowl. You don't have to pre-measure everything out. And then that just makes a really simple, quick and easy breakfast for you. So we're just gonna whisk everything together in here. Make sure that the air root starch is evenly distributed throughout. All right, once that is all whisked together, we are going to add in our dairy-free yogurt. Oh, Cosmo. He apparently has some thoughts on the dairy-free yogurt. Also, make sure that your yogurt and your milk are unsweetened because you don't want these waffles to be too sweet. And then we're gonna add in our vanilla extract, just a teaspoon and then our vegan buttermilk. You can see that it's kind of like coagulated there a bit. Now you don't want the batter to be super smooth. You do want some clumps, um, cause that will help our waffles be really nice and fluffy and um, rise a little bit better than a super smooth batter. But you do want to make sure that the dry ingredients are fully incorporated, so making sure that that is all mixed in. And now we are just going to, oh yeah, that looks good. We're gonna set this aside and start to heat our waffle maker. Okay, so our waffle maker is heating up right now and I'm actually going to brush it with a little bit of vegan butter right now. You do want to add on the oil here. I know that a lot of people try to skimp on the oil, but ooh, it's already sizzling. This is what's gonna help us give the waffles a little bit of a crispy outer shell and it will also prevent your waffles from sticking to your waffle maker. This waffle maker that I'm using is the Cuisine Art waffle maker. I've used it for years, I'm obsessed with it. It is non-stick and it works wonderfully. So once we have this all greased, I'm gonna close this once again, and then I'm gonna give it a few minutes to continue to heat up because we do want it really, really hot because under heated, or if it's just a warm iron plate, then your waffles are going to stick as well. So we want to make sure that the oil is hot and that the waffle plates are hot. And I just have it set to medium heat as well. All right, so once our waffle maker is all heated up, you can also see that we've let the waffle batter rest a little bit, so it's kind of fluffed up a bit, which is really nice. So we are going to pour our waffle batter onto our waffle iron. And I'm adding about a half a cup of batter to the waffle iron, but you can add, make your waffles as big or as small as you want. You can make mini waffles, it all depends on your griddle as well. Um, just going to spread the batter around a little bit. Now I'm gonna close, and then mine has the flip feature, which I think most waffle irons do. And this is gonna go off as soon as, uh, the little light here is gonna go off and be not ready which is good. So that's gonna cook for about three minutes and then we're gonna flip it over and we'll remove our waffles and then we'll make the rest of the batter. Okay, so our waffle is ready. We're gonna give this a flip and let's see. Ah, it 
it's perfect. It's nice and crispy. Oh, it's just beautiful. So I'm gonna give this a second to pop out of the waffle iron and then we're gonna place it on the plate and just continue doing that for the rest of the waffles. So our waffles are all ready, and now it is time to top. waffles ever. I'm so excited. They're like perfectly crispy. They're fluffy. We're about to take a little test bite. So now for the taste test. <laughs> that is so good. Wow. That's really good. These waffles are just so fluffy and perfect. I'm obsessed, you're gonna be obsessed. They're so easy to make as you just saw. So yeah, I just know that you're gonna love them. You can grab the full recipe link down below in the description box. It's the first link right there. And be sure to check out my vegan pancakes too if you want a different kind of vegan breakfast recipe. Be sure to also leave a rating and review on the blog that helps other readers decide whether or not they wanna make it. And subscribe and hit that bell notification for more recipe videos like this. And I will see you on the next one. Hope that you loved it. Enjoy.